I'm back. Yes, sir. What up, YouTube? I'm Gil Rivera, and thank you for watching this video. It's been a while. Sorry, everybody, but since I gained 300 subscribers, I've been living it up, you know, jet setting all over the world, buying Lambos, all that good stuff. <laughs> I wish, I'm just kidding. Um, I've been busy with real life, work, family, all that good stuff. But I have been recording content, so there are videos in the can ready for editing. Anyway, back to this video here. Usually I like to write down some bullet points or write down little notes on what I want to say during these art videos, but on this one, I'm just going off script. So let's see what happens. So hopefully it's not that bad. <laughs> so bear with me guys. So this is the third page of my self-published independent comic book, The Night Stalker. It's The Night Stalker Chasing a Ninja on the Rooftops of Empire City. So what I'm doing here is I am adding texture to the uh, bricks and just kind of putting in some lines so that it doesn't look too clean. I want these, I want these buildings to look like they're lived in. Not like they're brand new, like they were just made, you know, a few months ago. I want this to look like it's an old city. It's been around for a couple hundred years. There's weathering and all that good stuff. As I've mentioned in some of my earlier art videos, uh, some of the inspiration for Empire City was obviously you know, Tim Burton's Batman 1989, which I love. I love that movie. I love the art direction, just, just the whole look of the film. It's great. And I'm kind of stoked to see Michael Keaton is going to be um, back as Batman for this new Flash movie. I'm not too thrilled about the Flash movie itself. It looks okay, but I do like seeing that Michael Keaton is Batman and they have the old school 1989 Batmobile, which to me is still the best looking Batmobile to date. I like the, I like the Hummer or the, the Tumblr in Christopher Nolan's uh, Dark Knight uh, trilogy, but that was more like a bat tank, kind of like a, um, it didn't, didn't look like a Batmobile. It's supposed to be like a, a car that's got like, you know, bat. Um, stylings on it. So I really think that the 1989 film really, really captured that. And it still looks cool today. I mean, if you go back and you watch some of, if you watch the 1989 Batman film, um, just the scenes where you see the car just driving around, oh, it just looks tough. It's got like a presence to it that I think these newer um, versions of the Batmobile are kind of missing. Anyway, that's my two cents on there. Let me know in the comments if you agree or don't agree. Another big influence for the city and the look was um, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. That's, well, that's one of my all-time favorite sci-fi films. Um, now, if you haven't seen it, it's not real keen on the action sequences. It's more of like a film noir. It's a slow burn. It takes, you know, you get enthralled in the world first and the characters before you see any kind of real action. There's only a couple of action sequences, so it's not like some action-packed extravaganza, but visually, it's an amazing film, and I really, really enjoyed it, and that's one of my big influences when I was coming up with Empire City for um, Night Stalker. I kind of wanted to get that kind of feel and that kind of environment and look. It's always raining, it's always at night. It just looks gritty, lived in. It just looks great. We're almost at the end of this video and if you've watched this far, 
leave the word film noir in your comments so I know that you watched the entire video. It really inspires me to keep making these videos for you, so please help me out. So, ending it here. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of my latest retrospectives and art videos. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It's a small click for you. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps. So the next video is gonna be a retrospective on a really fun cartoon I used to watch as a kid and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. It's Dennis the Menace. So I hope you'll join us and thank you for watching. If you like the content and want to help spread the word, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out our Teespring stores. There are links in the description where you can find merchandise that you might like.